hey guys and welcome back to my channel i know it has been a while since i posted a video but i am definitely going to start trying to work on posting things a lot more other than that this video is going to be for the business owners or anyone who uses consent forms or any kind of paper forms for clients or um you know if you're a real estate agent and you need an application or anything like that this video is going to be for you so if you're interested just keep watching <music> Okay, guys, so today we will be working with JotForm, JotForm.com. That's exactly where we're going to be making and creating these forms. Um, the forms will be free. They do have where you can pay for some of the forms, but I'm right now just using the free platform that they have available, which allows me to email my forms to any of my clients that are booking appointments. Um, they also, I also have a COVID-19 liability form, which is really important right now. And I will show you guys how to get that too. Um, other than that, let's get started. So I already have job form pulled up on my computer, as you can see. So when you first sign up, you're not going to have anything here. This is going to be blank. It's just going to have this screen. So you're going to have to create your form. So first things first, I'll show you the forms that I've created. I'm an esthetician, so I um, I have consent forms. Usually waiver forms is what I have for like my waxing, but I'm not gonna have that. I'm gonna have it. I'm gonna have them like integrated into one. So I just have a full one form for facials and for waxing now. So I'm gonna try to get it open really quick so I can show you guys what it looks like. <clears throat> And excuse my dog if y'all hear him sniffing around because he's been here while I'm recording. Anyway, so this is the actual form that I am using right now. Um, it has my logo up in the top corner, skincare consultation form, and then scroll down. It's a nice little questionnaire. Everything that I need to ask my clients. This isn't the exact one, of course, that I was using before COVID-19, but this is just the one that I chose that was on job form that I really liked. And it had all the information I needed it to have. Then it has this signature panel here and this submit button. The submit button is very important when choosing a document on job form because if you choose one that doesn't have submit, you will not be able to see your submission. So that's my actual form. So let me get out of here and just show you how to go and create a form. All right. So we're gonna go and create form. Use template. So jot form is just full of forms, consent forms, templates, and stuff like that. Anything you would need somebody to fill out um, in person, you can get them to fill out online. And it has so many different categories. If you can look over to the left, if you can look over to the left right here. I'll just scroll down so you can see. So it's like event registration, payment forms, a survey, questionnaire templates, Category, it tells you how many templates are available. So for order forms, it's 583. Booking forms, 187. Sign up forms, 186. So you guys get the get my um, drip of what I'm doing. So I actually am gonna go back, use template again. So I just wanna, you can use your search bar for whatever it is that you're looking for. So for my clients, I usually call them client intake forms. So just gonna search intake here and let that come up. And so the first form, so you have to basically just go through this and see which template you like the best. These are actual temp, um, forms that people have used for their businesses. They're just allowing you to go in and edit what they've already used. So this is a massage therapy client intake form. I'm an esthetician, so I don't need that. Um, all kind of stuff on here a basic client intake form. I know I don't want that one from looking at it. Here's a facial um, intake form. I don't like this one, but I'm gonna open it just to show why I don't like it. So you can hit preview just to get an example of what it looks like. This one has no logo at all. Everything will need to be filled in. 
So what you need to always remember is at the bottom of the form you choose, make sure that it has a submit button. It needs to have a submit button so that when you send it out, your clients can send it back to you. Like, I don't know what this is about, how they have it, where they don't have it, but I tried it and it doesn't work. So don't choose any templates that don't have submit at the bottom. So the one that I actually did use, and I'm gonna show you guys the one I used and how I did edit it so you can get an idea. I'm just gonna click on it. I didn't even click preview. So this is um, because when somebody clicks it, you see how you can't see the name. Like you don't even, you can see the typing, but you don't see that it says name here. Or if you clicked here, it wouldn't say date. Everything is just like cream and looks stupid. So because I'm just now remembering that, we're gonna come out of the preview form and we're gonna go back to build. I'm just gonna take me back to the originals. The, not original one, but the one that I actually edited. Sorry. So we're gonna actually click this little paintbrush, form design, and the color scheme. That's where you get these colors from, the background, the form, all that kind of stuff. I'm gonna just click white, and it's gonna turn my whole form white. Now I can see, I'm gonna go to preview again to make sure that it's changed. And there it's changed. And now when somebody clicks to put their name in, it's not turning cream and you can't see anything. You can see exactly what you're doing. So that's that. So the form's done. Come out of preview mode. And then we're gonna just hit job form and it takes you back to your form. So now this will be the form that we just made, this top one that's at the top. So the thing is, when people fill these out, I'm gonna show you what it looks like. So because I've sent myself a preview of the form, I can click on here, you click on it, and it's gonna put a check here. So if you wanna see everybody who filled your forms out, this is what you're gonna do. Click it, make, make sure it checks here, and click submissions up here. When you go to submissions, this is gonna show you, oh, I forgot my homegirl did one. So it's saying Corey Bash, she answered all the information, the questionnaire that I needed her to answer, her signature at the bottom. It tells me, I wanna say, it tells you the time. Yeah, it tells you the date, the time, and everything when she submitted the form. And that's that, super, super easy. If anybody has any questions, let me know. Um, let me show you guys about the COVID-19 liability form. So the way I found that, go back to create a form, use template again. You can simply just type in COVID-19. 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 All right, so I'm not saying that I use these, but it's so many, it's 309 search results for COVID-19. So you can just literally go through here. Remember I said to click, um, find one that has submit at the bottom so that they can send it to you. Do not forget to go in and edit your business information from their business information. Play around with it, preview, and that's your job forms. Like I said, it's free and it's super easy. I'm using it and I hope this tutorial was helpful. Thank you guys. Bye.